According to inside sources at the company, USA Jet has quietly and without much warning parked its fleet of Falcon 20 aircraft. The airline cited a lack of smaller cargo demand and not making money with the Falcon fleet as the reason for its sudden retirement. It is rumored that although now retired, the company will keep the aircraft on its certificate in case a need for smaller aircraft ever arises and they can be pulled from storage and reactivated. USA Jet's Falcon 20 fleet consisted of five different aircraft. November 811 Alpha Alpha, built in 1968, November 822 Alpha Alpha, built in 1969, which was repainted in the new Dots livery at the beginning of this year, November 827 Alpha Alpha, which was built in 1974, and November 962 Alpha Alpha, which was the oldest, built in 1967, and also wears the new livery. All of which have cargo doors and can carry approximately 5,000 pounds of cargo. The fifth Falcon in the fleet for USA Jet is November 957 Charlie Juliet. Unlike the other four cargo aircraft, 957 was purchased and kept in its passenger configuration to fly the company's high ups as well as move flight crews. The aircraft was listed for sale last winter. The Willow Run Airport based airline's current fleet consists of two cargo configured Boeing 727-200s, the first of which was delivered to the company in May of 2015, and its seven McDonnell Douglas MD-80s. Although its single MD-83 has been in operation for a while, USA Jet took delivery of its first MD-88 in December of 2021. The X-Delta aircraft was also the first cargo-configured MD-88 after going through its passenger-to-freight conversion. After the deliveries of the MD-88s, USA Jet retired its last aircraft in its fleet of six DC-9s in February of 2023. It is rumored that the airline will also retire its 727s within the next few years in favor of the much more fuel-efficient and lower operational cost Boeing 737. The 56-foot Falcon 20 has a range of about 2,000 miles and the ability to hold 5 to 6 pallets of cargo. The small jet is popular amongst many cargo airlines in Michigan, such as Coletta Charters, IFL Group, Ameristar, and Royal Air Freight. Because of its size, the aircraft can be operated under Part 135, meaning pilots without an ATP can fly the aircraft as well as pilots that are over the retirement age for 121 carriers, making it easier to find pilots. I hope you all enjoyed this short video. I really enjoy making these types of videos. If you did like it, don't forget to like or comment and subscribe if you haven't already and want to see similar upcoming content. Thanks for watching.